Hey, 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 everyone. Oh, today's date is uh, 2021, February the 10th. Okay. I just thought I should mention this. That way, people who would have an idea when was this video uploaded. Okay. In fact, I should, I should have done this on each and every one of my previous video. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's keep going. Okay, as you can see on the screen, we're working on 7.20. And please let me know if some of you out there want me to zoom in even more. Okay. Uh, okay, let me jump on to the problem on hand. Oh, just so you know, this is the first video of the day. Okay. So, this is it right here. It seems like the next exercise, which is 7.21, it's going to be one of those that is fun to work with. Okay. Okay, in section 7.11, which I haven't read, you use the selection sort, do sort, and array. The selection sort method repeatedly find the smallest number in the current array and swipe it with the first. Yeah, we write this program by finding the largest number and swipe it with the last. Write a test program that reads in turn. Double numbers invokes the method and displays the sorted numbers. Okay, that shouldn't be hard. Array. You know what, you guys, rather than having to retrieve user input, I mean, we all know that, you guys. So I'm gonna skip that process. I'm simply gonna put random numbers here, okay? Six to how many of them? Oh, we've got to put in ten numbers three, five, seven, two. Again, you guys, if uh, you're against the whole ideology of doing things this way, of taking shortcuts feel free to let me know okay but if you're watching this video i presume that you you know how to get user input and fill it with and fill your array you do know how to fill your array with user input okay so let's go sort which is a method i haven't yet created Okay, after I have sort, perhaps let me just create it here. Public static void sort. Array. We'll take care of it later. Okay. Now let's display our items for each. item in our array list in our array I mean what we wanna do wanna display it just think the lot of print really item then we leave a space again okay, there is absolutely nothing hard with this this is the core of this tutorial now so if or oh, just so you know there's absolutely nothing I took from what section oh, from the code on the textbook okay so I just prefer doing things my way pretty sure the selection sort method didn't didn't do things this way okay 
But again, you shouldn't miss the point here. The point is you're here to learn Java concepts, not to copy and paste someone else's solutions, okay? Now, I have a follow-up, which will start from the last element. i is equals to array dot length minus one we go in while i is greater than or equals to zero with decrementing i okay okay First things first, I want to initialize my max into the last element of my array. Then my max index to i, not ki. Oops, in fact, uh, I, sh I should initialize it initialize my mags into the preceding element the one that comes before the last element okay the same way we did when we were doing things when we were swapping the minimum uh, element with what i mean the same way we're doing things the same way we did on the other approach okay the one they used in the textbook okay well, um, and it's j equals to max index Minus one J greater than or equals to zero J minus minus now if if array at J Greater than max, I do the swap. I mean, we update our max, max is equals to array at j max index. We're not doing the swap we're updating our max value and then once the inner loop is finished that is where we'll do the swap if needed okay now i'm comparing my max with array i if this is the case I'll have a temp variable which will be initialized to, to, a, to an element at uh, the height index. Okay. And you simply go array i is equals to max and then array at max index is equals to temp okay that wasn't so hard if you lost you guys feel free to let me know <coughs> down in the comments I just told you guys this is my first video this morning so 
I just woke up, so my, I, I know you can tell from my voice, okay? Okay, what else? What else? Again, feel free to let me know in case I messed up somewhere. Damn, damn, that's not what I want to run. Again, feel free to let me know down in the comments in case I messed up. Oh, I shouldn't have gone all the way to zero. I shouldn't include the zero there. Okay. Alala. This is our array, folks, right here. We've got one, two, three, three, six, two, eight, so on and so forth. However, right here we've got our sorted array, as you can see. Okay. Did they mention anything? Yeah, it seems like we could in case. We can work with integers for people to see I'm not messing with y'all. What the F is going on? Oh, it's because, in fact, damn. It seems like we could, you guys. Let, 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 let me ex let's, uh, let's check out something, you guys. I don't know, this just popped on my mind. Oh, I know, you know what? This should be it, you guys. I don't know. Let me try to mess with this. It's a number like uh, minus 5. 18. This is for the last time, you guys. Boom, again, we've got a solid array. Okay, so this is going to be it for this tutorial, you guys. I'll see you on the next one, which is, which is going to be... I'm not sure if I should upload another video on this uh, exercise. You know what? I am going to because there's, some, there's, there's a concept that I want to show. Which is something that we not that we have not yet covered. Okay, it's gonna it's only gonna be available on, available on my website. Okay, cheers, you guys. I'm going.